Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick video on this circular saw and troubleshooting if you're having trouble changing out the blade. Um, and you're already set up on the on the uh, camera stand, so I don't want to move you, and that's why you point it at the floor. So usually when you have a circular saw, you might want to change the blade from uh, one to the other. When I bought it, this saw had a um, diamond carbide blade on it for uh, cement work, for like cutting bricks and stuff like that, and I needed to change it out to do wood. Newer models of circular saws would have a spindle lock, so somewhere on the saw there would be a lever that you would hold down, in which case then it will lock the blade and then you can use your wrench to change out the blade. For a circular saw with no spindle lock, what you can do is you can hold the blade down with vice grips and then you can change out your blade. But see, in my case, what's happening and shouldn't be happening is that this blade is spinning independently of my bolt. And so when that happens, when I try to cut anything, this blade will just spin round and round and it's one, unsafe, and two, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So, I've already tried this vice grip method. I'm gonna try to tighten it. Nothing is happening, right? So it seems like what I need for it to do is for this washer to move independently of the lock. So I tried that for a while. I tried like going at it that way, nothing. Now let me undo this. See like I'm having trouble even undoing the bolt from the uh, washer itself because that had some grip to it and it's tight. I've got my finger now in this spot right here where the, uh, the I think, worm dry, me worm dry mechanism is connected to the rest of the circular saw and this is working. But if that didn't work, the first time when I had to really loosen it, I ended up taking an Allen wrench from my toolbox and then sticking that into this worm drive part, holding that down in place really well, or whatever else you've got, depending on the model of your circular saw. With, with everything in place, then I was able to loosen uh, the bolt. And I also used a little bit of WD-40. So now that I have that out, for this model of circular saw, you've got your bolt, you've got your, your uh, I don't actually know the term for this, but its function is to lock the blade. So I'll call it the lock washer, the wedge lock washer. And I've got my blade. And then I've got my washer on the other side. See the difference between the two? And so the theory that I have is something is missing so that my blade is able to spin, right? So with all of the setup, I was messing around it for quite a bit. I was like, all right, well, maybe if I add another washer to add some more height, remember this is how it was. If I add another washer right here, then I'll, I'll add to the height and then my blade will be able to be sandwiched between everything and be tight. But so I looked for some washers and I tried to do that, but then ultimately what I found out with looking at this, the issue with this whole setup is that from use, this part of the washer itself has just worn so much that it's giving away way too much of this height where when I have everything assembled together, I'm running out of room even if I stack something on top. But what I can do even simpler without adding any more components because when you add something, you gotta figure out whether and think through whether it will uh, be unsafe, it will wear over time, um, and all of that. So the obvious next thing to try is swap them. So putting this here, down there, and then reinstalling my blade. And remember when you reinstall your blade, just to pay attention to the direction. I'm cutting this way, I want it to eat up at the wood, I'm pretty sure. So this is how I'm gonna set it up, and if not, I'll swap it back. Now I'll put this on. And so effectively what I've done is change the height. So the, uh, the stationary part of this is now sitting below my washer. That's why my bolt wasn't doing anything because it was trying to grip onto the washer 
but it was really just gripping the center piece. So now, with that in mind, even as it wears out in the future, I'll know what kind of component I'll need in order to make this work again and have this all forever and ever and ever and ever and never buy anything. Because that is cool and sustainable and awesome. Okay, so hand tighten. It already won't move against my spindle. And really with these, you don't need to tighten much. It, there's no need to crank it down. If you do crank it down, it just makes it harder for you to undo it in the future. So that's feeling pretty good. I don't even think I need to use the vice grips. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Put my tools away and then let's give this a test run. You're now in my shop area. I've got my saw, I plugged it in. This is a really nice test piece. And of course I tried it out before and I'll try it out again. So holding my piece here, I don't need to do much. Make sure I lock this down. Everything should be nice and tight. I don't need that much height. Just need a little bit. But this is really just a test, so really no big deal. All right, so let's give it a little spin. Okay. My blade is spinning this way, so I guess correctly that that's what I need to do. The blade direction is correct. Let's put you here. Let's see if we can get a clean cut. I don't have to buy a new crappy circular saw because I think this thing will last me for a very long time and it's like maybe like 20 pounds so I'm like going to the gym also. I think in the future if this one does kick or if I want another lightweight one for a different purpose I might do that but for what I need just general construction I think it's excellent. I'm so happy that it's fixed. Um, one less thing going to the landfill and one more tool in my toolbox. So hopefully that helped you. Um, if you have the same issue, I think that the method of swapping it around or just like looking at it and troubleshooting it, depending on your particular circular saw will be very helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.